This is Symbian Guru with a demonstration of SPB Mobile Shell version 3.5 on my Nokia N97. Um, so as you can see, I've got my landscape, uh, well, there we go, my landscape orientation home screen. This is the first home screen on the program, and there's actually three different ones. I've got one on that side, this is the middle, and then I've got one on this side. Um, with SPV Mobile Shell, you can also have um, professional and lifestyle layouts. So this is my professional one. That was the lifestyle one. And as you can see, I've got three here. And this is the middle one, and then over here. Uh, one complaint that I already have is obviously, as you can see in this layout, in landscape mode, things get reorganized a little bit funny. Um, but other than that, everything seems to come out fine. So you can go side to side to go through the different panels that you have. And then if you have both the lifestyle and the professional activated, then you can go up and down to switch between those. As you can see, even on the Nokia N97, uh, things are really, really smooth. Um, this is uh, all widgets based, so you can reorganize this as you wish. Um, we can, let's see if I've got some room on one. If I wanted to move this widget, if I press and hold it, it gives me the option to remove it, to edit it. I can change the skin. I can also change the link so that it links to a different item. Um, and then if I press this button down on the bottom, I can switch layouts, I can move things around, I can change the background picture, uh, and all kinds of other fun options. So along the bottom as well, you can see there's a white bar here. Uh, this signifies which screen that I'm on, so that I can always just kind of glance at it and get a real good idea of which screen I'm on. Uh, this button here is my tabs button. If I press this, I get the uh, carousel screen. This lets me quickly scroll through different uh, screen options. It does have my professional and lifestyle home screens. It also has some shortcuts to uh, my call log. This is my favorite contacts. I have my uh, the contacts carousel, which is actually kind of neat. You can scroll through your contacts this way and it does have kinetic so you can kind of fling it a little bit uh, what's neat about this is when you tab one it's going to show the um, text message mobile number email and then obviously the mobile is the default here so we can go back to there and you can go there's a launcher here this is a customizable menu so that you can uh, launch your favorite apps. It does have recently used applications so if you use the same application all the time it's going to pop up here and then you can obviously set these to be um, static where they don't move at all and then uh, you also have just the main SPB menu which kind of reorganizes your menu automatically into different organizer, internet, multimedia uh, type views. So it's actually a pretty cool option. The um, also built into SPB Mobile Shell is the weather. Um, as you know, I'm a big fan of SPB weather. So this is kind of similar in that it gives you a GPS-based uh, local forecast with the weather and all that kind of thing. You can also get the current conditions. Right now it's 91 degrees here. Um, and then you can change that as well. So there's plenty of options. There's a agenda view. So you can see uh, it does show the weather for the days and then you can obviously view the rest of the month down here at the bottom which is really nice. Um, one of the cool things is that it's almost all also available in landscape mode. So now if I press the carousel button here as you can see now I get the easy scrolling option here. Uh, you can see this is actually pretty smooth on my Nokia N97 uh, which is impressive given the processor and RAM and that sort of thing on the N97. You can also, if you want, switch this to a tiles view and that gives you everything more like the uh, Nokia N900's multitasking screen. Now keep in mind this is not the running tasks. This is just an easy way for me to switch between uh, different views on my phone. So I can jump straight to weather and it's a little bit easier that way. Um, it does have a, in the, I believe it's in the launcher, a uh, task list, task manager view. Um, I don't find this incredibly useful to be honest with you, um, but if you wanted to use it you could. Um, as you can see it runs right next to all your other stuff. Um, so with SPB Mobile Shell running and a few other things, I still have 11.2 megabytes of RAM left over. 
if I were to optimize this a little bit more and spend some time cleaning up my Nokia 97's default home screen I would see a lot more savings there because really and truly as you can see uh, you don't need a whole lot of extra stuff on this so we can kind of brush through you can get local times for different areas you can set alarms uh, one thing that's really cool about this is you'll notice I can almost do everything that I need to um, without ever getting down to the Symbian uh, system so they've done a really good job of taking over the interface um, I've got 71 percent battery they do have these neat little uh, status things I can disable or enable Bluetooth uh, and I can set it invisible or discoverable mode and um, that's a really nice feature to not have to dig through the menus to go turn that back on uh, let's see and so there it is and you can see the icon pop up over here as well which is really nice so uh, that's kind of a quick run through of SPB mobile what uh, mobile shell um, I really I didn't like it at first because it was a little bit too there's a whole lot of setup that goes along with it with getting your icons where you want it and the widgets and everything uh, however once you actually get it all set up how you want it it's incredibly useful and um, as you can see it's a lot more fun to use than the built-in home screen on the N97 normally if you had a phone that does not have the N97's widget home screen such as the um, 5800 Express Music or the S6 this is going to be a really powerful uh, option for you so um, it's really just very very nice so that's just a quick video demo of SPB mobile shell on my Nokia N97 and uh, we have the full review over at SymbianGuru.com